Hi guys! I am Sadie Mayhem and welcome to my channel! Woohoo! This video is the first video in my, let's call it, video diary series documenting my year with the Reshape Gastric Balloon Weight Loss System. I'm getting my balloon in three days, so I thought I'd start with a kind of pre-procedure video and let you know what I've had to go through so far to get to the point where I'm having my procedure in three days. So probably about six to eight weeks ago, my orthopedist sat me down and had a very real conversation with me about my the condition of my knees and ankles. I've had a variety of injuries over the past six to eight years. And basically the conversation went something like this. If you expect to keep performing on stage, if you expect to just have a normal active life, you need to get weight off because your joints can't take it. So there you go. Um, it kind of put me in kind of a weird mindset. I had a hard time with that idea. Being a burlesque performer, we live in a space that is incredibly body positive, where we celebrate people regardless of their shape or weight or ethnicity or gender identity or, you know, any of those things. Um, we celebrate primarily women. There are plenty of male burlesque performers who I adore, but we kind of live in this very positive feminist sort of space. And so it was hard for me to kind of wrap my head around as someone who considered themselves to be such an advocate of body positivity to kind of wrap my head around this idea of I was going to have to have a procedure specifically to lose weight. And that losing weight was now had to be important to me. So where prior to this, what was important to me was being healthy and the fact that I ran, you know, and that I performed at such a level and all of these kind of things. Um, I have noticed that over the years though, the orthopedic injuries, which are being aggravated by my weight, are affecting my ability to perform. They're affecting the level at which I can perform. There are stunts and things on stage that I simply want to do that I can't, that my joints simply won't take it. So hopefully, after this year, I will be back to performing at a level that I really want to perform at and being the performer that I want to be. Um, I also live on a small farm, so I have to be active. There's a lot that goes on, you know, with taking care of goats and chickens and sheep and pigs and all of those things every day. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know, I need to be able to move. I need to be able to carry things. And so basically here we are. So, um, the long and short of it is I looked into a lot of different balloon systems. I elected to go with the reshape specifically because it is the double balloon system, which is supposed to be more comfortable than some of the single balloons. Uh, the two balloons, who that there's a tube that's in between them attaching the two balloons together. Um, and F supposedly it allows the balloons to move and kind of conform more to the shape of your stomach and to, it also makes them less likely to migrate either up or down, which can cause some discomfort. Uh, so um, after I decided to go with Reshape, I contacted them through their website and they referred me to a doctor local to me who does the procedure. I went in for a consultation with him. Um, he answered all of my questions. We discussed a lot of different things. I then sat down with um, one of the women from his office where we discussed cost, the these gastric balloons are not covered by insurance, so it's you know you're you're paying cash for it. Um, it is not inexpensive. That's I'm going to tell you it's not inexpensive. They did have some financing options and things which I didn't need, but it, it's it's not cheap. Um, about a week after that, maybe two weeks, I had an appointment with the nutritionist, um, who will be my nutritionist for the duration of the program. She and I discussed a lot of things, um, you know, obviously related to nutrition and food. She gave me a ton of information. Um, one of the things is this reshape book that they sent, you know, that they, I imagine they give everybody who's going to get the reshape. It's got a lot of, you know, just information about the balloon and the procedure and, and what to expect and those kind of things. Afterwards, there's a little picture of the balloon if I can get it to focus. So um, 
she also gave me this cool plate which isn't necessarily that cool it's just a plate but I really like getting free stuff I don't know how you feel about free stuff but I really like free stuff if anybody wants to send me free stuff I will take your free stuff I love free stuff um, so they gave me this reshaped plate and of course these are all you know post once you get your balloon out portion sizes you're supposed to try to maintain and there's a little key on the back that tells you what kind of food goes in what circle uh, and oh and I got one of these cool shaker bottles for my protein shakes and reshape then sent me this uh, Fitbit Aria scale which is supposed to connect to the internet and to my reshape app and to my activity tracker and we'll see how that goes like I said I live on a farm we're way out in the country we have satellite internet and things don't always go as smoothly as anticipated with that so uh, the other thing that happened when I saw the nutritionist is that um, they started me on pantoprazole which you have to take for two weeks prior to your procedure. Um, pantoprazole is a one of those drugs that actually reduces the amount of acid that your stomach produces. It's in that same category as Nexium and Omeprazole and those kind of drugs. Actually, I think Nexium is Omeprazole. I'd have to look, but I think it is. Um, so basically it reduces the amount of acid your stomach is producing, which of course makes sense if you have this object taking up, you know, 50 to 60% of the volume of your stomach, you don't want the same amount of acid dumped in there. You know, that you don't want to end up with reflux and heartburn and all kinds of horrible things. So that's why we do that. They, they do that, not we. Um, the other thing is that in my doctor, what my doctor does is a week before the procedure you go on OptiFast for a week, which I'm going to be 100% honest, sucks. It's not great. I don't enjoy the OptiFast at all. It's three shakes a day, an OptiFast bar, and an OptiFast soup for the first five days. In that five days you can also have every day a half cup of cucumbers or a half cup of celery, plain, obviously both of them, a cup of, or a cup of jello. You can have two servings of, out of those three things um, every day for the first five days. The last two days are purely liquid, so it's shakes, the soup, and jello for the last two days, and then 12 hours before the procedure you're completely NPO, so there's nothing going in at all. Um, you can still have things like black coffee and stuff you just can't put any cream or sugar in it and things like that. I basically just switched to green tea instead of dealing with drinking black coffee and making a sad face. I'm a Starbucks freak. I drink a lot of Starbucks. I would make a sad face if I had to drink black coffee. So, um, and there's a variety of reasons why they put you on the um, OptiFast beforehand. Uh, one of the reasons is to make sure that your GI tract is completely empty when they do the procedure. Uh, the second thing is to kind of get you accustomed to being on a lower volume, lower calorie diet before you get the balloon in. You know, they don't want you to get the balloon in and suddenly be like, oh my God, I can't eat anything and you freak out. They want you to kind of be accustomed to eating small things throughout the day, you know, five, six times a day and not taking in a ton of calories. Um, and you know, it's also kind of a test of a commitment thing too. If you can't get through a week of OptiFast, you probably shouldn't plan on doing a year long program with the balloon. Um, so there's that. The, oh, and the year long program. The balloon actually will stay in place for six months. They take it out after six months um, in the US. And I know in Europe, it is approved to stay in up to a year. So people will keep them longer. Here, it's only approved to stay in up to six months. So they'll take it out after six months. After that six months, you continue to meet monthly with the nutritionist and the doctor and all of those people to kind of make sure that you stay on program and that you adjust back to not having the balloon and you continue your weight loss and you continue with lifestyle changes and those kind of things. The balloons are really intended to be a jump start to a lifestyle change, which is what I was looking for. I didn't want to do anything surgical. I didn't want to do anything permanent. I just felt that I needed something that would be a jump start that would help keep me on track until I made so that I could make really permanent changes. Um, one of the things that I'm adding to the program that is not required or part of the program and of course is not paid for when you pay for the program 
is I'm actually going to be seeing a therapist during this year also to kind of address things like emotional eating and some compulsive eating tendencies that I have when I am stressed and also dealing with stress and stress eating. I have a stressful career. I am in emergency medicine. So there's a lot of running around second and third shift and dealing with critical patients. And, you know, and you tend to shove things in your mouth and grab things that are really sugary on the go to kind of try to keep your energy up. And I need to kind of address those habits over the next year and kind of get them sorted out. Um, as far as the actual procedure goes, it's pretty simple. You are sedated. It takes about 20 minutes. They sedate you. They go in your mouth, down to your stomach with an endoscope. Um, they check to make sure you don't have a hiatal hernia, any food in your stomach or anything else that would cause a problem with putting the balloon in. As long as everything looks good, they insert the balloon, which is deflated at the time. They put it in your stomach, get it positioned. Then they there's a tube coming out your mouth. You're asleep, you don't know. They use that tube to fill the balloon with saline. And once it's filled to the appropriate capacity, they disconnect the tube, close off the balloon, and you know take the tube out and you wake up and you have the balloon in. Um, the balloon does contain a methylene blue dye, so if it was to leak or rupture, your urine would turn blue and you would know, you know, to call the doctor. Um, retrieval is just basically the exact opposite. They knock you out, they go in with the endoscope, they drain the balloon, and then pull it out. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Um, from what I've read, the complication rates are very, very low, somewhere in the 1-2%. to 2%, So that shouldn't be, I'm not too concerned about complications with that. Um, I guess that's really about it. Oh, I do want to mention that this video is in no way sponsored by Reshape or my doctor or anyone else. I just found that when I was looking for information about having the balloons put in, that people's video diaries were really helpful to me. And so mm -hmm. I thought it would be nice for me to go ahead and document my year and you know and hopefully help somebody else um, i'm going to plan on posting videos every friday or saturday for the next year so you know like i said before if you'd like to go ahead and subscribe i'm doing this because this is what i see all the youtubers do when they want you to subscribe they do pointy fingers so subscribe and you can keep up with my weekly videos um, i also post videos on this channel relating to burlesque and to my farm. The burlesque videos are all PG or G rated. There is no adult content, so please don't be afraid to watch some of the other videos. They're mostly, you know, ridiculous things that happen when you're a showgirl. And there's a lot of ridiculous things that happen. You know, you have to steam wigs and crazy things happen. So, but Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you again next week.